Welcome to learning react with me. In one of our previous videos, we created a small example where we displayed the list of users and when we click on the user, we navigate to user details page. In this example, I tweaked the UI a little and added users in the navigation bar. When I click on users, it would take back to the same user list page. And when I click on each user, it would navigate to the user details page of the user by taking ID from the route parameters. In this example, I don't want this separate page for user details. I just want to display the user details here when I click on the user name. So this is where nested routing comes into picture. So in this video, let's see how we can implement nested routing in React. This is how we configured our routes. User slash colon ID to display the user details component and user to display the users component. If we go to users and look at the code, this is the list of users and for each of these users, we are looping through and creating a link and this link would take us to user slash user ID. Now, instead of going to user details page, I want to render user details just below this list. In order to do that, instead of adding route here, we should add route in this component. So let's comment this route and create a route here. Route and the path to this route is slash user slash colon id. And this route has to take me to user details page. And inside user details page, we are reading ID from the uh, route parameters using use params hook and displaying it here. You can uh, use this syntax or you can also use this format as well. Uh, both will do the same thing. Now let's save and go to the UI route is not defined okay let me just import this here so yeah now we have the route when i click on users and click on user one i see the user details here so our nested routing is working as expected but uh, i used the path user here to display the list of users, but it is not apt. U users would have been better rather than saying user. So I will change it here. And even in the headers, I will change it. Now, if I click on users, it's going to a user list. And when I click on each of these users, it's not rendering the user details component. The reason is the path which we used for user details component is slash user slash colon id but now what we want is slash users so i have to come here and update in the link and also in my route now if i go to users and click on user one it is taking us to user slash one and displaying the user details here and when you're using nested routings just make sure that you don't have the exact keyword here because what happens is when you use exact keyword it will just render the user's component it won't take you to the next route which is nested within this component so just make sure that you don't have the exact keyword here when you are using nested routing and okay so we achieved the concept of nested routing but we faced a problem where we had to go to the link and to the route and update the users. So uh, uh, since we used this route only in two places, it was easy for us to update. But what if this component is nested deep below? Like if we had something like user slash uh, category and slash colon ID, uh, if this was one component and inside this we had another route, then it would have been a problem. We had to update it here 
and also in the component which rendered based on the category we had to go there and update it to users so this is a tedious process and even if you forget in one place it would crash the application it wouldn't behave as expected so in order to make the routes dynamic rather than hard coding everywhere we can make use of the match property provided by props or if you are familiar if you are more comfortable using react hooks we have a special hook called use route match so let me tell you what it does uh, let's declare a variable const match and import the hook use route match and let me console log it to see what it has now, if I go back and open the developer tools, go to console, we see an object. Uh, this is the object returned by used route match um, hook. So, if you observe, this is similar to props.match. Let me console log props.match as well. So these two are familiar. This is the one from use router and this is the one from props.match. Uh, if you are using class component, then you can go with this dot props.match. In case of functional component, if you do not want to use props and you want to use hooks, then you can use use route hook. So what are we going to do with this uh, use route hook is this use route uh, match has two properties R and URL. Uh, here you don't see any difference, but let me declare the same thing in user details to see how path and URL differs. So let's come here and import the use route match hook. Save it. Now, if I uh, let me clear this. And if I click on user 2, this is path and URL. So path is user slash colon ID and the URL is user slash 2. URL is the one which we see in the browser and path is the one which we declared in the route. So that's the difference between path and URL. Let's make use of these two properties. Uh, here we used match, but let me use object destructuring and take URL and path from it and remove this console log. Now, instead of using users, what I will do is I will simply say dollar $URL. And here, instead of using path, I will, uh, sorry, uh, users in the path, I will simply say dollar path and let me enclose it with curly braces now we made this path and url dynamic let's see if this is working okay let me go to home now when i click on users users uh, is rendering the list of users now when i click on user one it has to we have an error here uh, let's try to inspect what's happening here okay the route has double slashes uh, since uh, URL already has slash we don't have to put an extra slash here so let me just remove this and also here and uh, okay this has to be here okay let's save it and yeah now we see the user details just below it uh, users and when I click on user 1 we see the user details but this time we are not hard coding the routes it is dynamically generated so if I just go here and change this to maybe users uh, list and update this in the headers as well now when I say users it displayed the user 1 user 2 user 3 with the URL users list and when I click on user 1, it is still working as expected because the path and URL are uh, updated to your uh, user's uh, list. We don't have to explicitly hard code everywhere we are using this uh, user details component. So this is how a user uh, used route match 
the url and path properties would help us in achieving the nested routing concept in react applications i hope you understood the concept keep watching for more content please like share and subscribe to interview pro thank you